Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today we are going to create a neon sign. All right. So we're going to start off in our panel view here, and we're going to load a reference image. So we're going to go to View, Image Plane, Import Image. Just going to go to my desktop, and let's see what we got. Bar neon sign. I thought this was pretty cool. Okay. So we're going to scale this thing up a bit let's say something like that so it's nice and clear pull that up and push that out a bit okay and then we're going to switch to our front view like so all right now we're going to zoom in on the text above here like that and we're going to go up to our curves actually we're going to go to create cv curve tool okay and we're going to start to trace these letters so I'm just going to start here and click my way down. And once I got that finished, I'm just going to hit enter. Okay. I'm going to go and hit G to repeat that. Click down to there, hit enter. I'm just going to pause the video while I trace all the text and I'll get back to you when I start on the beer mug. All right. Right, so I got all the text uh, traced, and I'll just uh, show you that right here. You can see that text going on, okay? And now we're going to go back to the beer mug, all right? Now, what's important here is that if you want it to look realistic, for example, you've got this little gap in the O, you'll do a CV curve around, hit enter, move on to the V, do a CV curve down, hit enter, and each separate part is a separate CV curve tool, okay? Now, we're going to go to our mug, and we're going to go, and I'm just going to hit G to repeat my last uh, action, and I'm going to start there, and I'm just going to go round and up, and we're going to go down, And I'm going to hit enter. Reason is, I want this top here to be a different color. Okay? So I'm going to hit G again. And I'm going to put these in. Hit enter. Hit G to repeat. Hit enter. G to repeat. Hit enter and hit G to repeat. And we're going to do this foam bit up here. Now I'm doing this fairly fast. So if you Sorry about that, guys. My dog just went nuts. They're wrecking a building next door, so. Okay, and hit enter. Okay. So, by now, we can take our reference image. We can hit delete. And this is our whole situation here. And I'll just uh, hide the grid so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so this is what we got, all right? Now, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Create NURBS Primitive, and we're gonna create a circle. There we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select that circle, Shift Select our eye, go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. Hang on. Object mode, edit mesh, extrude. We've got some small difficulty here. Just hang on. Okay, I figured out the problem, guys. I was in the wrong extrude menu. Apologies for that. Okay, so we're going to go to our surfaces menu. 
and we're going to select, so right click object, select our NURB circle, select our first object, go to surfaces, go to extrude the option box, go to edit and reset settings. And what we want to do is we want to change two things here. One is instead of add profile, we're going to go add path. And two, for our pivot, we're going to go to component. Okay. And we're going to hit extrude. There we go. And don't mind the size. We'll fix that later. Okay. So we're going to repeat that. So select, shift select, hit G, select, shift select, hit G. It looks a bit messy, but we'll fix that in a sec, okay? Select, shift select, hit G. Maybe we can actually retweak that. Select our, uh, our circle, hit R, and scale that down quite a bit till we get something like that, okay? Okay, let's continue. So we've got our circle, uh, shift select that. Now we have to go back up, extrude, there we go. And we're gonna repeat that down here. Shift select, hit G, shift select, hit G, shift select, hit G. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, pause the video and go all the way through. Be back in a sec. All right, so we got all that stuff selected. Now, like I showed before, if you uh, scale this out, you can increase or decrease the thickness. I'll just hit five for shaded mode so you can see that a bit better. Okay, let's go with something like that. That looks pretty cool, right? And we'll just grab this guy. Oops, hang on, sorry. Drag select all of this, edit, delete by type, history, which should allow us to get rid of that guy. All right, cool. So we got that. We're going to create a little uh, sign backdrop here. So we're going to go to our polygons menu and let's create a cube. And we're going to drag that out. We're going to pull that up. Let's move that to the back. Let's get it nice and centered here. Okay, scale it up a bit. And move that in, something like so. Let's see how we're doing on the distance, something like that. All right, so we got that. Now let's uh, apply some material to this cube here. So assign the material. Let's go with a Fong E, like that. And let's make that black. Okay, now let's uh, add some color to this. So we're going to select our letters. Okay, now we want that blue, so we're going to right click, assign new material. We're going to go with Lambert and we're going to go into our settings. Uh, incandescence, uh, we're going to bring that way up and we are going to bring the ambient color up. Actually, we're going to leave that down. Uh, incandescence, um, we're going to change that color because it's our main color to blue. And let's make that a fairly light color, something like that. All right. We're going to go down here to special effects. And we're going to increase the glow intensity to 0 0.15, like so. Okay. Then we're going to take our beer mug all the elements for that. Right click, assign new material, Lambert. Uh, we're going to go to incandescence again. Uh, we're going to make that yellow. Uh, let's see how yellow we want that. Maybe yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Okay. We're going to go down to our special effects again. Increase glow intensity to 0 0.15. And we'll take the foam, right click, assign new material, Lambert, incandescence, white, 
go to glow intensity 0 0.15 all right cool let's get a good position for our render let's say something like that i'm going to go up to our render settings we can leave it at my software that's fine uh, i'm going to increase my size to hd 1080 and actually i prefer to use mental ray it doesn't really matter but i just like it okay so we got that we're going to go to our quality tab we're going to increase that to about 1.5 something like that and uh, let's give this a render i'll just uh, pause during the render so you guys don't have to wait and i'll be back in a sec with the end result okay see you in a bit all right here we go guys this is our neon sign so i uh, hope you guys like this uh, be creative with it and uh, see if you can come up with your own signs and uh, if you come up with something uh, really cool um, please share it i'd be uh, happy to see it okay thank you guys for watching as always if you decide to subscribe that would be really cool and see you guys next time bye